Hey guys, it's John P. Continuing our live coverage here at CES 2013, and we are at the My Charge booth. You know those guys, we always tell you about them. Let's take a look. Okay guys, we have been talking about the My Charge for a long time. We love these things. Let me give you a refresher. If you haven't seen it in the past, what it is, a little portable battery, but the great thing about it is it's got all these connectors built into it. Like here's an, an Apple connector. And over here, you've got a micro USB connector. Um, you've also got a connector on this side that is USB just for charging the device. But the secret special sauce on this unit is that it has a plug built right in so that you don't have to plug your battery into a USB port on your computer, you put it in the wall, it charges way faster. Now, what we love about this thing is it comes in different variants. You can get a 6,000 milliamp or a 3,000 milliamp, and the pricing is about like 70 to 100 bucks. So, we carry them literally everywhere we go, all the time. There's a whole range of these, but these are what we would call the legacy units. Now they're going to stick around, but you'll notice they have the older style iPad and iPhone charging plugs on them. So keep that in mind as we go forward because I'm going to, we're going to get to what the new replacement is for them. But before we do, we're going to talk about some of the other stuff. So over here we have the amp line. Now this is kind of one that's uh, for more price conscious buyers, let's say. Um, we start at a 2000 and we go all the way to 6000 milliamps. And what you've got is a fairly basic battery, but it's a good looking case. It's kind of rubberized, it feels good. Um, there's a little cap on the end and you would charge it using micro USB. And then you plug in your charging cable into the full size USB port and you're good to go. Now there's a little battery right here. And if you touch the battery, you turn it on. I'm not sure if this is a working, oh, there you go, it's green. That means it's fully charged. If it turns yellow, then you need to, you know, you're about halfway and you need to recharge it. And by the time it gets down to red, then you're, you're almost gone. Oh, forgot about price points. These are gonna start about 30 bucks and go down to about 70, 50, about 30 to 50 bucks, depending on which size you want here. Okay, then we're gonna move into a more ruggedized version of them. You'll see this is a slightly larger form factor, but it's because it packs a lot more battery into it. You got 3,000 and 6,000 milliamp batteries. These things are, we won't call them waterproof, but they're definitely water resistant and they're all rubberized, so it's a little more rugged. On the top of this one, we've got two USB ports and again, now we've got the built-in charger. I really like this and I would highly recommend that if you're gonna buy a backup battery, you get this kind because when you travel, it takes a long time for your laptop to recharge a battery that size. Okay, this is the new Jolt line. These are not out just yet, but they should be coming in the next few months. What you notice is a completely different form factor here, okay? It's like a, it's like a pocket army, Swiss army pocket knife here. Um, and it's got a little carabiner clip on one end. And then you're gonna have micro USB ports and look at that, it's going to have all you iPhone 5 users like Dave there shaking the camera at you. Um, you're going to have built-in connectivity for those. These are going to come in sizes ranging from about 1,000 milliamps and around 40 bucks, right? $40. 40 bucks and, and we'll be ranging up to 65. 1,000 milliamps is 40, 2,000 is 60 but that's without the little Apple connector and with the new connector on the, on the 2000 milliamp, it's 65 bucks. So again, I think these are about due in April-ish, let's say by, by around April, let's say second quarter, beginning of second quarter, you should be able to get your hands on these. Then we move over here to the Hub series. Now, this is the one that kind of replaces the one we've been telling you guys about for the last couple of years. And what they've done is, well, they've done a few things, at least two of which are very exciting. One, you can now get a 9,000 milliamp pack, and it's really no bigger than the previous model. 
Also, the other thing is you get that Apple connector, the new lightning connector. So you've got a micro connector and you've got a lightning connector and you still on the bottom have one more USB port so you can plug in a third device. And by the way, I didn't mention, but um, you can charge three devices simultaneously. This happens a lot. Callie and I will go somewhere and we'll be with someone else and we've all been using our phones all day long. We plug all three of these in over dinner and we can revive them from like 15% to 50% just over dinner. Of course, you still have the ability to flip this thing open and plug it right into the wall and keep it charging. So that's great stuff. Can't wait to get those. Now, if you happen to have a business and you wanted to do something really special for let's say your clients or your constituents, what you could do is you could get with the MyCharge folks and you could create a custom look for your battery backup for them. So you could present people with one that had your company logo, or you could choose from one of any of these. Look at how many different, everything from these rubber, these are kind of rubberized. You got kind of shiny ones here, all the way over to carbon fiber. And of course, that's just what they kind of have standard. You can make your own custom ones. All right, finally, let's move over here and talk about cases for your phones. Uh, obviously, they're not gonna be able to make one for every phone in the universe because there's just too much variety. But for the big boys, specifically for iPhones, and like I see a Galaxy S3 over here, you're gonna be able to get these wicked little battery cases. It's actually quite thin. The one you're looking at right here is a 2000 milliamp battery. And look at this, this is the amazing, amazing part. It has a built-in lightning connector that you pull out, plug right into the phone, and then it's gonna start charging as soon as you do. Here is the large model of it they've got, just for fun. The, uh, the other interesting point is, when you plug in your headphones, how about that? It's a, it's a giant working model. Um, what they're showing you is, there's still enough room, if you look, it's clear to get a headphone completely in there. So a lot of cases are gonna block that, and that would really suck. You're gonna be able to get these for, they're, they're gonna come in two different sizes for the iPhone, 1500 and 2000 milliamps. For the uh, Samsung here, it's 2500. These two are gonna be about a $100 price point, and this will be a little less, maybe, maybe shave 20 bucks off for uh, one of those. And these should be available springtime, spring, like maybe second quarter. So I know we're all looking forward to these bad boys. I know I am. Uh, you guys need to make one for the Galaxy Note 2 now. <laughs> okay, guys, stay tuned for more coverage here and head on over to youtube.com forward slash geekbeat TV. Give us a thumbs up and we'll see you later.